Welcome to a special video on relativity. Relativity is a theory of space, time, and gravity developed by Albert Einstein in the early 20th century. It is based on the idea that space and time are not absolute, but rather are relative to the observer. This means that different observers can measure different amounts of time and space for the same event. Relativity has had a profound impact on our understanding of the universe. It has led to a number of new discoveries, such as black holes and gravitational waves. It has also had a major impact on our technology, such as GPs. In this video, we will explore the basics of relativity. We will discuss special relativity, which deals with the relationship between space and time, and general relativity, which deals with the relationship between gravity and space-time. We will also discuss some of the implications of relativity such as the existence of black holes and the expansion of the universe. So if you are interested in learning more about relativity, then this video is for you. Let's get started. Chapter 1. Special Relativity Special relativity is a theory of space and time developed by Albert Einstein in the early 20th century. It is based on two postulates. 1. The laws of physics are the same for all observers in uniform motion. 2. The speed of light in a vacuum is the same for all observers, regardless of the motion of the light source or observer. The first postulate means that if you are in a spaceship moving at a constant speed and you perform an experiment, you will get the same results as if you were standing still on Earth. The second postulate means that no matter how fast you are moving, the speed of light will always be the same. These two postulates lead to a number of surprising conclusions, such as Tie a time is relative. Two observers in motion relative to each other will measure different amounts of time for the same event. This is because time passes more slowly for objects that are moving at high speeds. T, mass, and energy are equivalent. The famous equation m me. Monk 2 shows that mass can be converted into energy and vice versa. This means that energy has mass, and mass has energy. At to length contraction, objects moving at high speeds will appear to be shorter in the direction of motion to an observer who is not moving with them. This is because the object's length is compressed by the motion. T time dilation. Clocks moving at high speeds will appear to run slower than clocks that are not moving with them. This is because the clock's rate of time is slowed down by the motion. These are just a few of the many surprising conclusions that can be derived from the theory of special relativity. Special relativity has had a profound impact on our understanding of the universe, and it continues to be the subject of active research. Space-time is a four-dimensional continuum that combines space and time into a single entity, according to general relativity. Massive objects warp or curve spacetime. This curvature is what we perceive as gravity. The more massive an object is, the more it curves spacetime. This is why planets orbit the sun. The sun's mass curves spacetime so much that the planets are forced to follow curved paths around it. Chapter 3 Experimental Evidence for Relativity There is a great deal of experimental evidence that supports Einstein's theories of relativity. One of the most important pieces of evidence is the Michelson-Morley experiment, which was conducted in 1887. This experiment showed that the speed of light is the same in all directions, regardless of the motion of the Earth. Another important piece of evidence is the bending of light by gravity. This was first observed during a solar eclipse in 1919. More recently, gravitational waves have been directly detected. This was a major breakthrough as it provides strong evidence for general relativity. The experimental evidence for relativity is overwhelming. Chapter 4. Applications of Relativity Einstein's theories of relativity have a wide range of applications. One of the most important applications is GPs. GP satellites need to take into account the effects of relativity in order to keep accurate time. Relativity is also used in particle accelerators such as the Large Hadron Collider. These accelerators use the principles of special relativity to accelerate particles to very high speeds. 
Relativity is also used in cosmology, the study of the origin and evolution of the universe. The applications of relativity are numerous and growing. They are a testament to the power of Einstein's theories, and they continue to shape our understanding of the universe. Chapter 5. Future Directions Einstein's theories of relativity are still being developed and refined. There are a number of open questions, such as the nature of dark matter and dark energy. Researchers are also working on developing a theory of quantum gravity, which would unify general relativity with quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is a fundamental theory in physics that provides a description of the physical properties of nature at the scale of atoms and subatomic particles. It is based on the idea that energy and matter exist in discrete units, or quanta. General relativity is a theory of gravity that describes the curvature of space-time. It is based on the idea that gravity is not a force, but rather a curvature of space-time caused by the presence of mass and energy. A theory of quantum gravity would unify these two theories, which would be a major breakthrough in physics. It would provide a single comprehensive description of gravity and the other fundamental forces of nature. The development of a theory of quantum gravity is a major challenge, but it is an important goal for physicists. It would help us to understand the universe at its most fundamental level, and it could lead to new technologies and applications. Here are some of the future directions of research in relativity. That testing general relativity in extreme environments. General relativity has been tested in a variety of environments, but there are still some extreme environments where it has not been tested. For example, general relativity has not been tested in the vicinity of a black hole or neutron star. 2. Developing a theory of quantum gravity, as mentioned above. A theory of quantum gravity would be a major breakthrough in physics. It would provide a single, comprehensive description of gravity and the other fundamental forces of nature. Use using relativity to study the universe. Relativity can be used to study the universe in a variety of ways. For example, relativity can be used to study the expansion of the universe, the formation of galaxies, and the behavior of black holes. The future of relativity is bright. There are many unanswered questions in relativity, and there are many potential applications of relativity. Relativity is a powerful tool for understanding the universe, and it will continue to be a major area of research in physics for many years to come. That's all for this video on relativity. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Relativity is a complex topic, but it is also a fascinating one. It is a theory that has had a profound impact on our understanding of the universe, and it continues to be a major area of research in physics. If you are interested in learning more about relativity, there are many resources available online and in libraries. You can also find many books and articles on the topic. Thanks for watching. Join us at Space Station Zero on YouTube for more shorts and full-length videos.